Hey Cashers, Derek here, Big Six Clan. Today we're going to talk about what is an Adventure Lab and how do I use the app. Let's get started. I reached out a couple weeks ago to uh, Geocaching HQ and asked them, what are your top questions that people are asking about Adventure Labs? And they emailed me back and said, our top questions are, what is an Adventure Lab and how do I use the app? So that's what we're going to be tackling today. First off, I'm going to tackle, what is an Adventure Lab? Well, the easiest way for me to put an Adventure Lab, an Adventure Lab is like a multi, a virtual, and a where I go, all put in together. So, the only difference between it and a multi is that in a multi you only get credit for one find of a cache. Well, on an Adventure Lab, you're getting credit for five or how many ever stops are on that cache. It's a virtual aspect of it because you have to answer a question once you get to that location. And it's a where I go because it drives you to different locations and it's in a series of each of those stops where you have to ask a question or answer a question. So that's what an Adventure Lab is. Now it kind of came about from um, lab caches when you'd have a big event, but they wanted to open up that part of it and to be able to put more aspects in it. Now one thing about an Adventure Lab that's very interesting is that there's no proximity. So if it's close to another cache, you don't have to worry about it because you don't have to be with a, as far out as 528 feet. So that's one really cool thing about an Adventure Lab. Now, not everybody can do an Adventure Lab yet. They're slowly releasing credits to different people. And when you get a credit, you get five adventures that you can put out, five Adventure Labs, and you tie them all together. Second question is, how do I use the app? You can't do Adventure Labs on the geocaching app. Instead, you have to use the Adventure Lab app. Now, this app is a little bit different, but it's kind of the same of it being on through using the API for geocaching. And the easiest way to really search for a lab cache around you is to go into the directory and it'll point out labs that are the closest to you and it goes further away. So the closest one to me right now is walking uh, with your feet 10 feet off of Beale. There's five locations and it's 16.6 .6 miles away from where I'm at right now. And you can just scroll through and find the different labs that are closest to you that way. Now another way that you can find an Adventure Lab is by clicking on Explore and you can go into a location where you're at. So as you see on the map right now, where I'm at and to where the one is in Memphis. So I can zoom in on that location and it sees it as one dot right now. But if I click on the dot, it starts showing me the activity or the adventure that I need to do. So walking with Beale Street, um, has the ratings on there, the activity, how to start, and then as I come down, you see the map on there, and it shows me each of those locations along Beale Street. Now I can't. Now if I hit start right now, and it tells me right there on the app itself to get closer. Now you're asking, how does it know? Well, of course it's using GPS, and Adventure Lab is a location-based game as well, just like geocaching, and there is what are called geofences around where the lab is or where that location is so you cannot answer the question until you're into that location. Now another way to find where an adventure lab is, say you're going to be traveling and you want to go see if there's an adventure lab there, so say I'm traveling to Nashville. I can go into where Nashville is and I can click search this area and it shows me where the different labs are in that area. Now as we see there are becoming more and more adventure labs in different locations so there's going to be expanding but remember you need to download the adventure lab app to be able to do an adventure lab and I'm going to have that just that link for the adventure lab app down in the description so check that out now let's go and find an adventure lab and I can show you more about the app all right so the first location for this adventure lab walking with your feet 10 feet off of Beale. Of course, it brings us down to the historical Beale Street here in downtown Memphis. They close it down all the time. You'll be hearing music in the background, and that's just what Beale Street is. It's just a place where you're gonna have music, a lot of the blues, home of rock and roll. Elvis used to hang out here, but we're gonna do this adventure lab. This one has five locations, and let's walk you, I'm gonna walk you through how to use this app. Let's go. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit start on my app. And when it starts, it shows me I'm 30 feet north, northeast of it, Beale Street. Click on view details and here's the question. The sign tells of some significant historical facts about Beale Street from the civil rights marches to workplaces for women. Beale Street has been an important part of Memphis history. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on answer, pops up the next screen. When you walk down Beale Street, you felt you really had what? So I'm gonna come to the sign where this is and I am going to put my answer in and then we're gonna uh, move on to the next location. Once you put in your answer, you get a completed congratulations, you completed the Beale Street sign. All right, I always suggest to click on view journal next because there are times that in that journal will give you hints or something else that'll be to your adventure. Now we're gonna select the next location and we're gonna move on to that one. Just like the geocaching app, this one has a compass feature. So you click on the compass up there and it tells me that I'm 144 feet away. So we're just gonna keep walking to this one, just like geocaching, except we're going to virtual locations to get the answers. All right, so we've completed the this Adventure Lab. Hey, I want to first off thank Bullcasher for putting this Adventure Lab together Definitely. and let me feature it here on Behind the Cache. Thank you guys, awesome. It was a really cool Adventure Lab taking us down through the civil rights that happened here in Memphis and along Beale Street. All right, so Adventure Labs are just really starting and it's really, they've only been out for just a little over a year now. So it's in its infancy and there's a lot of changes that are gonna be happening over the next this year and over the next few years. Now, if you want to hear Brian Roth, president and co-founder, talk about Adventure Labs, I'll have a link down in the description for the podcast that they did uh, back in December from Geocaching HQ. Check that out. You'll hear a lot more about Adventure Labs and where this platform is going. Once again, thank you for joining me today. Hey, don't go anywhere. Check out one of these other videos just right over here and check out the story behind the cache.